What's up crawlers? It's Crawler Baller. Doing a video today because I've been working on this section of my crawler course. It's an 8x4 new section that I've added on to the rest of this madness that I've been working on for the last two years or so. It's CBHQ Crawler Baller Headquarters. It's my garage. But anyways, today I wanted to run this buggy on some of the new section of my course. This used to be my Ultra Brute Tinker Time rig, but I dropped it off the table the other day and broke the body. So I pulled all the insides out, grabbed a bunch of spare parts and this chassis that I had laying around for so long that I actually don't even remember what brand it is or where I got it but anyways if you know let me know in the comments below but what I liked about this I was I was grabbing spare parts and I had the um, mofo I think it's a nano beast brushless motor and the furitech what the heck is that thing called lizard pro or something like that and I'd never done anything with them so I stuck them into this V1 SCX24 ESC because apparently you can do that and turn this thing into a little buggy. I think it's pretty cool. I mean, it wasn't fun trying out to figure out how to cram all the guts inside this little body, but eventually I figured it out. And I think that I might be having a little bit of issues with the mesh connection with the motor and the whatever the hell that thing is called the not a pinion but a the gear because every once in a while I can hear it slipping a little bit like tick 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 but I don't know something to look at man this thing crawls so slow I remember the Brute, when it just had the V1 ESC in it, and that's just what I was running with the stock motor. Man, that thing was like, ugh, yuck, yuck, yuck. Right now, this has got a lot of power, lots of control. I might want to pull that rear diff cover off, because I added a little weight to the back there, thinking that because the body was so light, that I'd want to add a little something down low. But I think with all the weight that I have in the front axle, I might be able to pull that rear one off and then be able to pull myself up over obstacles a little easier. And I'm only saying that because I got Jason's RCs is coming down in a couple weeks, two weeks exactly, and upper left is gonna come down. And I'm a, I have a feeling we're gonna be doing some comping. So I can't be doing comping with all my Broncos and Kyosho mini Z's. Gotta have something that could do something. Maybe I'll turn this thing into rear wheel steer. Or four wheel steer. How do you say that? Rear wheel steer, four wheel steer. Four wheel steer. Like my Capra. But anyways, there's that campsite. Still gotta add a little pawn to that. I don't know how I'm gonna do it. But thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. And I'll see y'all again real soon. Peace.